So in this one, now we'll try to do, we'll create that UI code. I have already written and I will explain you because UI I'm not going to explain in full details. So UI code is there. So now we'll try to uh, see that how that from UI, if we try to pass that value, how it's getting added and fetching or not. So whatever we tested in Postman, now we'll try to see from UI and what all extra things we need to write and what all changes we need to do. So let me move to here. So now already I did all those changes. So now if you can see first thing, if you see, I have created one more folder that called views and inside view index.html folder I have created. Okay. <clears throat> so inside this one, uh, this is simple HTML where I put that uh, all those details. Okay. User management and I'm putting add users and user form I'm using and here user list is there that going to display that here uh, I'm using that ID user ID as a label then again uh, ID is required I put that and name is also required username and type of text and required this one I make that and submit type of submit and add add user one button I have created okay and you can see I am trying to use that style from this one style.css so this will be present in public folder and then style.css from here I just added this one line link dot ref style sheet from it will come from here and if you can see this is that only one line that I am using that components okay and then add user dot js so from this one whatever we'll do that all those submission form submission everything will go to this form okay and here what we are trying to do user form i'm using and event on submit okay because basically we have only one event so i'm doing that on submit i'm trying to fetch that id get element by id name and i'm putting that trim if any uh, spaces are there so that we can do that trim and we also putting both ID and names are required and see there API slash users and this method is post. Okay, whatever that we using in our app here API that users same thing I am passing it out here that it will be get fetch for this one and now it will uh, pass that value to that and it will be get uh, our value get inserted and once that will be get inserted we are clearing it out. And then I'm calling fetch users and if any error it will come to here and fetch users what I'm trying to do I'm trying to see that API get users okay and then I'm using that in user list that we use that in UI if you go and see here user list okay so in this list I'm binding it out okay all this document in this user list and then I'm displaying ID and name there okay and if any error it will display there okay so now uh, these two changes are there and if you come back to server uh, no not in server then in app what I added since now in app okay we need to by default need to open that index page so we need to use that directive path so here that path or whatever we use that so here I'm using that path one to get that go to view folder access that view and index.html is default file so you it's going to use that and then again I'm passing that public so that you can use that public folder have we have that components and style.css so both things they can use it okay no other changes only in this two one in uh, app.js I have added this two line of code rest all I have created one index and in public folder I created component folder and user uh, add user.js and style.css in styling I put that some styling how it's need to look like okay rest all are same okay and if you have noticed that we followed here MVC pattern model okay view and controller this pattern we follow it here and on basis of that we have separate all our codes code from each other so that it will not overlap if you wanted to do any changes in a model then we can go ahead and do it here if any changes in controller routers if you wanted to change that now I don't want to use this uh, routes I wanted to use different route then I need to use to do changes here and then I need to go and do changes here as well okay 
and then app.js as well so three places we need to do so in this way we need to know where all and what all changes are needed rest all not needed okay so now what i can do we can move to now uh this one uh, and we'll try to run that okay so uh, as usual now how we'll run that we know so now let me uh run this one okay and before running let me show you that uh sql server okay so now in sql server we have only two users so it's going to display that two users okay and uh, now we will try to run it and then we can try to see that how many things it's going to show so i will run that npm start as usual so see now previously we have back and now we have both the things but i am only running npm start and it's going to handle both the things that's why in app.json we have written to use this one and index is by default page okay and server.js we are already using that app.js so no need to do any changes so now once we'll click on hit enter you can see it's already connected okay so we are able to see all those details okay so now let me move to uh ui side and then i can show you just a minute i will i'll share that screen again i have one more file to share now let me see so where is that now we can go to uh ui okay so this is that ui now if i try to refresh that now you can see raptor one raptor two id and raptor one now i wanted to add here some name so i can go ahead and add it here three okay and if i try to add you can see fill out this form because we make that as a mandatory so now if i go and put that test okay and if i click on that add user so now you can see immediately it's get added and it's fetch one it's called and it's started displaying here with that three and test okay and here it's cleared it out now i will go ahead and if i will not add can see fill out this one because it's required so i will go and four and i will add abc and then you see it's getting added okay so now if you move to here now you can see where is our out folder this one we put that here to uh display it here user id colon basis so it's started displaying there in that list format and here we are doing that clear so it's getting cleared every time whenever we'll add it okay so now if we refresh again first time also it's getting called because what i did i am calling this one fetch user by default here okay fetch users if we not use that then it will not going to call that okay so in this way you can test everything is working fine and i hope you understand that complete workflow how you can create your uh, things from a scratch dividing all those file format and all those things and how you can write it out okay let me know if you have any issues yeah thank you